partying and, and, and staying out and, and doing things that I knew was not going to benefit me or the loved ones around me. So um, I ended up in, a, in the hospital um, because I went on a big drug and alcohol binge and um, my pastor from the church that um, I had previously attended met me at the hospital and it was that moment when I realized that um, it wasn't necessarily the the drugs or the alcohol or all these things that brought me temporary pleasure um, that was the root issue the root cause or issue was my indwelling sin it was the sin that separates us from God just like the book of Romans says all right and it's um that's when it really clicked for me that man um, I can't decide how I earn my salvation I can't decide how I get to heaven I literally need a savior not just for um, eternal for eternity but to live life on earth I need to be changed I need help and so um, that's when I gave my life to Christ and um, from there I think it was a complete tip of the iceberg. Went from partying, allowing the game of basketball to be my God and, and using me um, for my own self glory um, to now, uh, we, my wife and I, we run a ministry called Hoops for Christ that my good friend Phil Morrison founded in the States. Um, we run our own business, Jeremy Kendall Basketball, which um, reaches the youth as well as on up to professionals. Um, and we really use the game now to, to uh, make others better. Instead of allowing the game to use me, um, I use it for, for what it's worth. And um, there's a verse that uh, in the book of Matthew that talks about uh, you are the, the salt and light of the world. So your light is your gifts, your talents. Uh, what, what fills you up? What do you do well naturally? And um, those gifts and those talents need to be used in order to glorify God, not yourself. And so for many years, I used everything, um, my, my, my gifts, my talents, my knowledge and um, resources, connections. I used it all for my own self glory. Um, and that let me down tremendously. And at the end was very disappointing in every season of my life. So. Um, so that light and salt of the world, all right? So that's what Jesus calls us to be. And um, that's your gifts. That's what you do well. That's your opportunities. That's your platform. And um, using that to, to, to bring the truth forward. And um, because the truth at the end of the day, I, I for many, many years um, ran away from the truth. I, uh, I denied it, I suppressed it, and for, 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 for many, many years I did those things, but the truth is concrete. It will set you free, and in the Bible it says that Jesus says he's the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. So, he is the truth, and once I stop running from, from uh, my calling in Christ, um, I was set free. I was set free from the addictions. I was set free from the from the insecurities. I was set free from the disappointment, the shame, the guilt that came with constantly using everything I had in my hand for my own glory. And um, that is a that is a truly amazing feeling. And I get so much happiness and joy and peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah, that's good. Um, knowing that Christ is my rock, He is my salvation, my fortress. Um, I know I can call on him at any time whenever I'm struggling with things and um